hey, whatever you're doing, stop. Praise him. Stop and praise him. A dear friend of mine used to tell me all the time, um, he'd say, breathe. Less stress is a good thing. See, in, in times of doing, do we ever pause and just remember the why of what we're doing? <clears throat> In Psalm 118, it says, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord and he has given us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. You are my God and I will praise you. You are my God. I will exalt you. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. For he is good. His mercy endures forever. We need to take a breath and just worship him. We need to take a breath and just pause and remember the why of what we're doing. Working isn't just a to to have a paycheck. Work should be to please God. It says that in all you do, do it as unto the Lord. It's Colossians 3. And whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not to men. I think too many of us are just trying and striving so hard to, to look good in what we're doing to look good for the boss and say, oh, look at the job that I did. Instead of just saying, God, I want to please you and all that I'm doing. James says that faith without works is dead. And this is true, but we should never forget the why that is attached to our faith. His name is Jesus. You see, the psalmist writes, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Is this not the Lord Jesus he's referring to? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let me know. But then he continues. We have blessed you from the house of the Father. Blessings flow. From, but from where are they flowing? Is it, is it a flowing from, from a job well done? Is it, are we looking for blessings to flow from, from our boss or from our coworkers or from our husband or from our wife or from our siblings or from our children or our parents? Or are we looking for blessings to flow from God? They flow from the house of the Lord. God has given us light, he says. I see this, this light as Jesus. Because Jesus says he's the light of the world. But then he turns to his disciples and says, now you are the light of the world. This light comes from God. He's given us The light, he says. And then look what he says next. Bind the sacrifice. This is a part I really want to look at. Bind the sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. He says, bring your sacrifice to the altar. Bind it there. And leave it. Because the very next thing he says is, you're my God and I'm going to praise you. I bring my sacrifice and I leave it at the altar. I'm not even going to contend with it right now. God, I want to thank you that I can bring you a sacrifice. I want to thank you, God, that I have something to give to you. No matter how paltry or how small it may seem or feel, I have something to give you. Sometimes that that sacrifice we bring is our praise. Because sometimes we just don't feel like praising God. Our circumstances suck. Everything's coming against us. But we remember to pause and breathe. Because less stress is a good thing. Our sacrifice is good. But wait before you do that. Pause and remember just who it is you're going to offer it to. The psalmist writes, you are my God and I will praise you. You are my God and I will exalt you. 
on the mountaintops, pause and praise him. In the valley low, pause and praise him. In times of joy, pause, praise him. In times of correction, pause and praise him. In times of enduring love, pause and praise him. And in times when everything seems to be falling around, down around your ears, pause and learn to praise him. When we can praise him in the depths of the valley, when the mud and the mire and the muck is up around our nose and we have to tip our head back and say, I need a breath. We can pause and praise him. So remember that when a world's going your way, when everything's coming into alignment and it just seems like this is the greatest day ever, pause and thank him. Thank him for the little things. You see, we come into his presence with thanksgiving and praise. So, beloved, I just want to bless you and say, Father, I just thank you that you've given us hearts of thankfulness that we can come before your throne with thanksgiving and praise, praise that comes up from our hearts because it's overwhelming within us. Jesus, you said it's from the abundance of our heart that the mouth speaks. God, just let us worship you. If there's something we need to come and bring to the altar, some kind of sin in our lives, God, that we need to confess, let us confess it so that our praises will reach the heavens. If there's something in our lives that we just want to sacrifice unto you, God, let us bring it to the altar and stop and praise you. Praise you in the morning. We will praise you in the evening. We will praise you in the time of the noonday sun. Because, Jesus, you're worthy. God, you're the only one worthy of all our honor, all our glory, all our praise, all strength be unto you, God. For you are worthy of it all. Help us to pause and to breathe when everything seems to be crumbling around us. Help us to pause and breathe in the daily hustle and bustle of life. Teach us to slow down and fellowship with you and find time in those quiet moments to just breathe you in and allow you to cleanse us and to strengthen us from the inside out. Jesus, you're worthy. God, you are worthy of all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. And all God's children said, Amen. God bless you guys. <laughs>